more simple. It's also going to be easy cleanup and you're going to love that you're not heating up the entire kitchen when you're making a family size meal. We're talking about K47057. This is $39.98 and it's on easy pay and we're looking at a tremendous size, 18 inches long, 12 inches deep, a 25 inch cord and you've got a temperature dial that helps you maintain just the proper temperature, whether you're, oh, I don't know, searing fillets, doing a stir fry, steaming fresh garden corn, make, oh, I don't know, browning ground beef, and making a tremendous, oh, pork chop dish with sweet tea marinade. Oh, oh. Hi, Eric Thies. How are you? <laughs> Eric Thies is back with us. I just noticed my recipe over there. I guess we're going to cook up some pork chops. Yeah, why not? So this is fantastic. This machine is amazing because it does yeah. it all with great capacity. Mm -hmm. But let's back up a bit and talk about Copper Chef. Yeah, oh, yeah. Why don't we do that? So what we did is we took what people really have fallen in love with Copper Chef. One of the reasons was the ceramic technonstic coating. And we said, what if we put it on an electric vessel? Like, um, you know, this reminds me of sort of like um, the old days. A lot of people had an electric skillet, and that kind of trend comes and goes. But we said, let's bring it back, bring it back with ceramic technology coating. Let's give it 1,500 watts of power and the full Copper Chef treatment. And like David said, this is a beautiful size. It's 18 inches long, 12 inches wide, but it's also five quarts. So when you want to talk about you're doing um, a braise or a casserole or yeah. something like that, you can do that in here. And just to give you an idea of the size, what I did is I just put some simple corn in there because what a great way to do your corn. A little bit of water, steam it. We oh, have one, two, three, four, is. five, six, Gorgeous. seven, eight, nine pieces of corn. But, but take notice to the bubbling. A lot of times these electric skillets are not fully powered. You only kind of get the power in the center. Well, we made sure that the power spread evenly throughout because we used a thick, aluminum just like we do in our pans and that helps spread the 1500 watts of power so you get that even bubbling. And look how beautifully these are going to cook up things like, is that bread pudding? Well you know what it is? It's, or a it's, cobbler. It's a simple five ingredient dessert. It's cinnamon rolls with some apples, some raisins, some nuts. Oh, that's clever. And then you just pop it in here, put the lid on and you, you cook it on low for 275 degrees and um, let me Take it up. Could you bring me that spatula? Of course. So take a look at the nonstick here. Now remember, it's the ceramic tech nonstick. So look at look at the release, guys. Look at the bottom of this. Oh my word. Now we went a little over on the bottom, but with the Copper Chef nonstick, guys, you're never gonna have to worry about that. We cooked this right here, we cooked it live, and the cleanup is always gonna be a joke with Copper Chef, even if you make a little mistake and burn the bottom a little bit. It's going to be great. So what I'm not allowing you to do is burn these fillets. <laughs> Look at these gorgeous sear on these. Now, because it's got the 1500 watts of power, this can literally be your go to burner for whatever you wanted to do. So you can sear your steaks. Um, you could braise your pork chops. You can do a whole ton of mushrooms and onions. Look how beautiful they are. Now, Which will go right along with these steaks, Absolutely. Right? So we'll plate those up together when they're done. But look at the capacity. And because we have our electronic ignition here, our little electronic dial, we give you, it's fully, fully functional, but it gives you the control. So when you want to put something on warm, you can easily do that. When you want to go up to 425 degrees to sear, you can do that as well. Now, 400 of these are now gone. Easy Bay goes Sorry, away guys. end of day today and exclusive to QVC. Look at this beautiful, beautiful size countertop skillet. One that's going to be an easy wipe out. <laughs> you just wipe that out and you're ready to roll. So we have done fillets. We've got uh, sausage, or excuse me, uh, mushrooms and onions, fresh corn. We've got this cinnamon roll cobbler thing happening, which <laughs> sounds delightful. You can ask me on Facebook for the recipe. Again, it's just five simple ingredients. And then you cook it really low at 275 degrees. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting cheese right in the middle of my taco meat because I want to melt that together and then I'll slide it out onto these chips. And man, let me tell you something. Oh, so you're making, you're making uh, taco nachos. Yeah, taco nachos, right? <laughs> With a really cheap way to make a, a queso. <laughs> Just melted cheese. Um, a, a quick way to make queso. <laughs> a quick queso. I think is what you're looking at. That's a quick right. queso on your taco nachos. 
I think if someone hasn't done a recipe yet for taco nachos, they should. Taco nachos. Now, these yeah. are my sweet tea yeah, grind good. pork so chops. I, yeah. Lynn, Lynn hooked me up. I was like, yeah, let me let They're me a lot it. of fun. And these have been marinating since the show began Ooh, in a fridge, and we popped them out. So get those into that skillet. You want to get a nice sear. Now, our recipe calls to grill these. You can also right. do these in a pan, if you'd like, and finish them off in the oven. Just make sure you get them to that proper internal temperature. Ooh, look at these pork chops. These are but beautiful. What's great about this is they take on all the great flavors of the sweet tea, the onions, the lemon, the garlic, the jalapeno. Ooh, the hot peppers in there, too. And then we do a, a delightful peach sweet tea barbecue sauce that goes over top of these once they've been seared off and cooked thoroughly. So this is what's so great about a pan like this. Look at the capacity here. Eric has five. I think there's one more pork yeah, chop. Yeah, we're going to get it. No pork. These are big, too, guys. Yeah. These are these Bone are in. serious pork chops right here. Look at that. And look, we have plenty of room. Now, when you're searing, you want to make sure you have some extra room. If you cram things too tight, you know you're steaming. Grab so some we're gonna your sear. onions and pepper and pop them in there with Yeah, it. let's do it. Because that would be a nice to serve on the side. Look at this. And it'll caramelize a bit. That looks amazing. Lovely. Oh, you know, I was up there. And get a little lemon up in there, too. All right, now, those are my recipe uh, pork chops today. They're searing along. 800 of these are now gone, and everyone's loving that easy pay. Two easy payments on your credit card of $19.99. Now, Eric, will this get hot enough for me to fry in? Yeah, absolutely. So, like I said, the dial goes from warm all the way up to 425 degrees. So, if I want to put cooking in oil in here and a batch of French fries, I could do it? Yeah, you could absolutely do that. And not only that, it's a really great vessel for doing, like, a chicken molinaise, like a thin, um, you know, a breaded chicken fillets or chicken I nuggets. I chicken molinaise in my new cookbook. Oh, wow. Well. We're taking pre-orders a week from today, launching next Sunday. Well, I'll be here, so I'll, I'm, I'll get to taste everything on You'll the table. You'll get to taste, exactly. <laughs> Let's do breakfast in the skillet. Yeah, let's do it. So again, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sausages, a whole bunch of home fries. Of course, you can do your sunny side up eggs, no problem. And don't forget, I haven't talked about this enough. We give you this beautiful lid. It's, it's full and, and heavy, and it really stays on nice and secure. It's got a nice little um, vent hole to allow the steam to come out. So it keeps things um, steamed inside but not too much steam where it blows the lid off, and that's why we put the little hole there. How about some pancakes? Yeah, let's do it. We'll have pancakes with our breakfast meats and eggs. Ooh, this is ready to dump out here. You ready to go with that? With the taco so. nachos? Taco nachos. So. You know what, yeah. and that's, you've done some supermarket shortcut things in there. Cause you could do, you could buy frozen vegetables, yeah. Make that. Yeah, absolutely. You, uh, I, I never really recommend buying pre-shredded cheese unless it's mozzarella. Mozzarella is too hard to shred. Um, yeah, it is a the, pain in the neck. But the it? rest of it is easy to shred and you always a little better. I'm going to help you here. Thank you. Look at the cheese. Just Guys, this looks like it just came It'll out just of the box. It'll just have a tinge of pancake batter on it. That's all, <laughs> That's all right. There we are. Well, we need a little starch with this anyway. There we are. Look at that. It literally looks like it came right out of the I box. I love that. We're going to have to work up a recipe for taco nachos. <laughs> I like it. What you think, Justin? <laughs> yeah. Taco nachos? It even looks good with the cheese right down the middle. And then, of course, it? a few dollops of sour cream, maybe some <laughs> amole. <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> amole. Do you yeah. have to do that first? I don't know. Something. Uh, <laughs> but our pancakes are beginning to uh, bubble. And once you start seeing those little bubbles on top is when you know it's going to be safe to flip these. They're not quite ready yet. So we're going to get you all squared away. How many of these gone now, Sean? 1,200 are gone. There's your whole breakfast pan. Pancakes are coming together nicely, and it all happens for you for two easy payments of $19.99. Eric, thank you, sir. Thank you very well, I much. see you Wednesday? Uh, no, Sunday. No, a week from today? Yep. All see right, perfect. I'm going to eat. We're going to check it. You should eat. Eat the taco. No, nacho. I'm going to eat on, on your cookbook next or week. Or that, too. All right. Hey, Stacy, what's happening? Yeah, well, in honor of your sweet tea pork chops uh, that you're making today for us, David, we were inspired with our Twitter poll question. So we wanted to know, what is your favorite summertime drink? A lot of you cast your votes here is the winner and it was the leader from the get-go everybody loving a little bit of sweet tea or iced tea as opposed to the lemonade the adult beverage or the soda so 835 votes cast thank you so much and for all of you 